This channel is a group of investigative journalists who make educational documentaries showcasing and educating society, especially parents and legal guardians, about potential scenarios that result from young people and adults conversating online if left unchecked. We conduct thorough interviews with consenting adults in an attempt to understand their perspective on why they partake in these conversations online with people that are not of age. The goal of the interviews in these videos and the videos themselves is to gain an understanding of the perspective of the individual being interviewed so parents and the rest of society can be educated and aware of potential thought processes and desires of adults online to unsupervised persons not of age. These videos are not to cyberbully, harass, degrade, accuse, or threaten any individuals partaking in the interview process or in the video itself. We do not condone any of these actions. These videos are strictly educational, and we grant full permission for academia, which is any classroom setting or in scholarly papers, to show or cite our videos. To ensure that these videos are strictly used for educational purposes, we strictly adhere to YouTube's community guidelines, such as not revealing someone's personally identifiable information, in other words, PII. YouTube defines personally identifiable information as their home address, email addresses, signing credentials, phone numbers, passport number, medical records, or bank account information. We thoroughly look at and edit our videos to ensure that none of this information about any individual is shown in our videos. To ensure extra privacy for each person that is a subject of an interview in any of our videos, as of September 1st, 2022, to thoroughly comply with YouTube's harassment and bullying policy, there will be no mention or information about the last name or first name of any person interviewed in our videos. Due to potentially illegal activities discussed in our videos, law enforcement in the respective jurisdiction we conduct these interviews in is notified of each interview and video filmed by us. We are not accusing any individual interviewed of being guilty or committing a crime. That is the job of law enforcement. We are not vigilantes and we do not condone vigilantism or vigilante behavior, such as taking the law into your own hand or not notifying law enforcement when a suspected crime takes place. We are investigative journalists. Trigger warning. Some of what can be discussed in these videos can be sensitive to some, emotional, or stressful. The only goal of these videos is to educate the public. At the end of each video, as of September 1st, 2022, there will be an educational portion at the end to discuss what was talked about in the video and to discuss what people can, what people can take from that video and learn from and tell others about. Our goal here is to bring awareness and educate the public. Now the video will start. What's up guys? A lot of you guys may know about the Gordon Flowers hoodie. However, we also have a fried pickles hoodie as you can see right here. And Gordon Flowers sweatshirts that you can get in many, many different colors. Show your support for the Gordon Flowers movement and the PP movement by getting one of these. I can tell you they are very, very comfortable. Like in all seriousness they are. And I actually do wear them. So uh, be sure to get one of these and enjoy the video. What's up guys? Before this video starts, be sure to follow us on all platforms including on Rumble, which you can find in the pinned comment. Um, this platform has been giving a lot of people like us a lot of problems lately, and <clears throat> Rumble is a lot more receptive um, to free speech and whatnot. So be sure to follow us on Rumble. Um, any video on here you can also find on Rumble, and if you're looking for a video and can't find it on here, it'll be on our Rumble. So be sure to follow us on Rumble in the pinned comment. Like the video. Works here? Yeah. Is he here today? Somewhere right here. What time? He'll be back. I think he'll be dinner at 11 30, 12 30. Oh, okay. He's taking lunch right now? He'll be here in about three, four minutes. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm just a friend from high school. I just wanted to come see him. Uh, he might. Come over and step around. All right. Yep. Hey, I see you down there. Hello. How's it going? The child will leave. He should be back there. You doing all right today? Yes, yeah, sir. How's it going? Pretty good. Yep, yep, we need to wear. He ain't grown there a little. Which office? So you can go to school with you. Oh, I hear him. Sorry. Okay. I know, like, it's, it's pretty here. I'll just try to hear what's going on. I know it's 
I know it's not the most flattering thing to talk about, but yeah. you know, like I said, I know you're not like some bad person or anything. Sure. It's probably just slip up. I have the cameras for safety reasons, so you can be sure we're not here to hurt you or cause any trouble. We can just go over here to get away from them. I don't want them to hear anything, but. Okay. So, I mean, you know, Emily's Twitter got taken down. Did your Twitter get taken down too? Mm. No, okay. So, you know, Emily told you she was 11. Uh, okay, okay. Do you, I mean, do you want to pull up the messages? Uh -oh. Okay, I mean, do you know she told you she was 11? Yeah. Okay, and you remember her telling you that? Yes, sir. Okay, I appreciate the honesty, dude. Just be as honest as possible, okay? Like, I'm not here to do anything or anything like that. Like, I know you're at work right now and all of that stuff. So, how long have you been working here for? Pretty much all since I got asked. I've been during school, yeah, and then now full time. Okay, okay. So you're like sell cars? I do whatever. Okay, like work on cars, sell cars, stuff Pretty like much. that? Okay, okay. So Emily lives, told you she lives here in the city? She did. Okay. And, you know, I don't have the messages on hand. They're on your phone, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Okay. You saw her Twitter got taken down? Yes. Okay. Uh, do you know why it got taken down? Okay, probably for being underage, right? I'm I'll just, guessing. Okay. And do you know, so she told she was 11 one of the first messages? Yes. Okay. And then I just, like, I want to be friends and all then, mm -hmm. you know, I didn't know she was, you know, you know how people just play with, aggravate you, you know, tell you. Well, I mean, obviously she looks very young. Yeah. Okay. I mean, she looks 11, I would assume. Yep. Okay. So did you assume she was 11 because she looked 11 and she yeah, but, told you know, she was 11? some people can be. Right. Okay. Well, did, was there, were there any pics that she sent you that was an adult? Mm -hmm. Okay. So it was all pictures of a little girl. Basically. Okay. So is it fair to say that you assumed that it was a younger lady then? Figured. You know, okay. but you know how you see some girls look like 18, they don't. Yeah, I, I know, but did she look 18? She looked pretty young, I'd yeah. say. Okay. So she looked pretty young? Yeah. Okay. So she didn't look like an adult, did she? Not really. Okay. So you assume she was 11? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, I mean, before we really get into all what was said to her, I mean, you know, obviously, I, I know looking under Twitter, there's a lot of younger ladies in the following list and stuff mm -hmm. like that. I mean, how long ago did this start for you? I'm not here to judge you, man. Uh, not long. Okay. And you know what I'm referring to? Yeah. Like this attraction to younger ladies under 18? Yeah. Okay. Because Emily obviously wasn't the first time that there was a younger lady that messaged you, I'm sure. Yeah. Okay. Were there were there any other girls Emily's age that would message you, or were they like 13, 14? Yeah, a little bit older, but I, somewhat, most of them I just ignored. Okay. I mean, I didn't really, you know, I don't get on Twitter much. Right, right. Okay. So there was like 13, 14 year olds that would message you sometimes? Yes, sir. Okay. Because they got, you know, they got following. Right, right, right. Her, and, you know. Okay, so was it on Twitter, Facebook, Twitter. or okay, all on all on Twitter? Yeah. Okay, were they also in Georgia? Uh, someone all over. Okay, just American American yeah. teenagers. Pretty okay, much. were the messages just kind of the same with Emily, just kind of flirting back and forth a little Basically. bit? Okay, and I presume to the other 13, 14 year olds, you didn't go to meet them, did you? No, okay. I've never met any of them. Okay, so was the most you sent to the 13, 14 year olds just pictures? None of mine. Okay, you sent some to Emily though. Not mine. You said it's someone else's to them, to Emily? I don't, I don't do nothing like me, of me. Okay, so. Just face, you know, okay. it's like normal, you know, like me and you meet me. Okay, so there wasn't a picture sent to Emily? Not of mine. Okay, did you get someone else's and send it? It wasn't, it might have been the internet or whatever. Okay, so you just look it up on the, look up a on the internet, send it to Emily? Is, is that what you did? Pretty much. Okay, and that's what you, and that's the other 13, 14 year olds that you just I looked never, up? No, not not yours, but you just looked at a p picture of it and just sent it to them. Much. Okay. I'm, you know, I don't. You, you don't put yourself out there. Not. Okay. You just you just find another online and pretend it was yeah. pretend it was yours. Yeah. Okay. Well, okay. that's how you know most people do anyway. Right. Right. Yeah, right. You know, like if some people send a picture, you know, want, hey, let's, they don't send their face, but I do. Right. Know? Right. Right. You know, I mean, it's no different than me going to the beach and you see my face. Right. Basically. Okay, so, and then with the other 13, four, I mean, is the most they did back to you? So did they ever try to meet you, the 13, 14 year olds? Nobody's okay. ever met. Did they just send nudes back to you or something? Most of them did, but I didn't believe, you know, it was him. Okay, so these, so these people, these people that were 13 or 14 years old will just send you nudes, or, but you didn't believe it was them? Yeah. 
Okay. I didn't, you know. Okay. I didn't, didn't ask. Or they would just send you a picture of their nude unsolicited? Pretty much. They'd be bikinis or... Okay. And not full nudes, but any, like, ones where just, they just showed their boobs or something like that? Yeah. Okay. And did Emily send you any naked? No. Okay. So you remember the messages with Emily? Yeah. Okay. They they, they kind of, you know, started off as friends, but it kind of... Yeah, kind of got serious, yes. She kept wanting to meet, I didn't. Okay. Well, I mean, it was mentioned, you know, I'll, I'll come pick you up, baby, this and that. You're ready to come meet me? Hang so. out, you know. Okay. That's it, but I never actually said, hey, let's go. Right. Well, I mean, there was a lot of messages where, um, you know, and of course it takes two to tango because, of course, she, you know, I'm sure if she wasn't okay with it, you wouldn't be messaging because, you know, you're not that type of guy. Not. But, you know, there was stuff talked about, like, you know, taking her V card, stuff like that. But I wasn't serious about that, you know. Okay. I mean, you remember sending messages about yeah, taking her V card? Okay. I mean, do you think you could pull those messages up on your phone real quick? I don't have Twitter more. I deleted it. Well, you said your account didn't get taken down. Well, I got rid of it. Oh, you deleted Twitter off your phone. Yes. Okay. Did you and Emily text on Telegram at all? What's that? That's just another app. You all didn't text on Telegram? No. Or Signal or anything like that? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, I mean, you know, w with Emily, there's a lot of stuff, you know, obviously talked about between the both of you about, you know, taking her V-card mm -hmm. and, you know, obviously doing a lot of stuff together. Okay. I mean, she, did she ever give you an address where she lived? No. Okay. She just said she lived here? Yeah. Okay. Because, you know, when she said she, she was ready to meet, then I think you said, like, are you ready to, I can come get you or stuff like yeah, that? Yeah, but I wasn't, you know, I wasn't being serious because I didn't, you know, I don't believe, you know, she said she lived here. I said, yeah, I don't, you know what I mean. It's one of them deals, you know. Right, right. I don't give my address to nobody. They don't, you know, and if they give me that, I ain't going to. You know, I ain't gonna go show up at your house if you know. Well, did you did you did you ever ask for her address? Never. Okay. Did you just talk about wanting to hang out with her? Basically. Okay. Who brought that up first? About hanging out. Yeah. She kind of mentioned want to go, you know, see me. Well, I mean, who who mentioned doing stuff in person first? I mean, I just said, hey, how, you know, just got talking like normal, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So did you? Do you think you brought it up first, like about just seeing each other in person or doing Maybe stuff? Maybe meet, you know, okay. you say, hey, you know, like walk through, you know, you know how you go walk through Walmart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey. Oh, just, just to see each other? Yeah, just okay. speak. Okay. Say, hey, let's make it. Okay. So, I mean, was there interest in actually meeting her if she was just no. wanted to, no, she just wanted to like walk through Walmart or yeah, something like that? Yeah, just say, hey. Okay. So, if, if she wanted to just, you know, just meet you in public and say hi, that's what you would have done? Yeah. Okay, okay. That's about, that's it. There's nothing. Okay. That was only if she wanted to meet. Yeah. Okay. I okay. wasn't going to. And then I might have said, nah. You know, she said, yeah, let's go hang meet. I might have just, you know, said, hey, get around and walk in. Never okay. actually, you know, hey, I'm here. Okay. Are you in a relationship right now? Yes. Okay. Does Tiff Tiffany, is that her name? Yeah. Okay. Does she know about, does she know about, like, kind of. Twitter deal, man. She has no idea. Is that your personal Twitter or just a burner Twitter you use for, burner. like, okay. I don't ever. Like I said, I don't really get on it. Okay. I hadn't got on it. Okay. And that's the one you, where you follow 1,900 people? Something like that. Okay. So did you disable it or did you just delete it? Just deleted. Oh, okay, you deleted the app? Yeah. Okay. I mean, so, you know, if you said this hasn't been going on for long, but there's like other younger ladies under 18 that would message you. I mean, how, how many, when did you first start to notice this though? Like, was it after well, high school, before high school? Well, after, I noticed it. When I started first had Twitter, all these young ones started thing. Yeah. So I started, you know, didn't get it. Well, then it seemed like it was just a trend. Oh, okay. She kind of went down the rabbit hole of yeah, younger all, and younger. Yeah. For some reason, they all kept on, kept on. So I said, well, I just stopped talking to them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got it. Just, you know, and I guess you would just tell people that you're Kyler. I would tell you that I'm whatever from whatever. Yeah. Okay, okay. And then you would just be like, you know, just shoot the sexy talk. Basically, you know, not serious. Yeah, yeah. So, how many years ago was this? Uh, probably 10, probably 15, 16 years old. Oh, okay. So, basically, and that's what he started to notice when you're like 15, 16 that you, that there was like an attraction towards like younger. Not really, just, you know, just ain't nothing chat, chit chat. Yeah. Basically, nothing. Well, when did you start to notice like that there was like the age gap was kind of an attraction? 
not really that, not, not really interested in younger women, you know, I mean. Right, but I mean. Chit chatting, you know, getting to know them, you know, just making friends. I yeah, mean, I know. I just didn't, you know. But, but, right, but how did it get to where there's a fantasy in your mind about taking 11 year old's virginity? I mean, not really. I just, you know, cutting up with I didn't really want, you know. Well, I mean, there was definitely a fantasy there. Nah. Okay, I mean, when, I mean, when these other girls are sending nudes to you and, you know, there's, there's sexy. Most of them just, and by the time they get done, I just delete them. Would delete okay. them, because I know I said, well, you know. Okay, when, like, the other, like, girls under 18 would send you nudes, you would delete them? Pretty much. Okay. Every, yeah. Did you delete them from your gallery? I don't have them in my gallery. Okay. You just delete them from Twitter? I delete them to Twitter. Yeah, I okay. view them on Twitter and delete the messages. Okay. Is there, is there any stuff that... Is there any stuff that you deleted from your gallery before too? Mm -hmm. Okay. Is there any stuff on your gallery that, you know, that you probably have to delete right now? No. Okay. Is there anything that was ever on your gallery that you deleted? Just uh, old, old uh, pictures from uh, I've took, took uh, going places and stuff. Got rid of them. Okay. Yeah. No. So I mean, like, basically, when did, you know, when you were fifteen, sixteen? I mean, that's when you got Twitter. Pretty much. I didn't use it as much. Uh -huh. I, you know, it's one of them deals, didn't really care for it. I had it because everybody else had it. Right, right. That's like you're with your old Kyler's account, Kyler accounts? Pretty much. Okay. When did it, when did, so when did it start where there were just like younger ladies under 18 chatting you up when you were over 18? It started pretty much after I got older. Okay, out of high school? Yeah. Okay, so that's been going on for about eight years? So, yeah, but I never got, you know. You never met any of them? Never. Okay, so it's just been, it's just been like a probably a good amount of younger ladies under eighteen that just chatted with you online basically, before. Okay. I've never met anybody. Okay, okay, and it's just been basically sexy talk with them. Yeah. Okay. Not okay. Who? So who's the youngest besides Emily? That's it. Okay, the rest were thirteen, fourteen, Pretty about. Much. Okay. Did Did you ever think that you'd get in trouble for this? No, I you know I figured that's a, you know I ain't done nothing. Right, it's just chatting. Chatting. Yeah, exactly. You yeah, do, like I said, hey, come, let's go. And actually, done anything, you know? Right. Right. I mean, with the with the others, did you like ever talk about meeting with them? Okay. Yeah, that was only with Emily. Yeah, just chat. Okay. I didn't, you know, like I said, I never seriously want to meet her. It just, you know, like I said, hey. Just the saying hi in person or something. Yeah, that's just about say, it. Hey, and just keep right on getting. It. Never, you know, I never want to say, hey, let's go hang out or that. Just. Mm -hmm. Got it, got it. So, basically, so, I mean, with Emily, like, there were a lot of... Yeah, just getting to know, you know, just having mm -hmm. friends. Mm -hmm. Were there, like, I love you sent to her? A few, you know, like, hey, man, I love you. You know, like, you good friends. I've told a bunch of my buddies that... Right, but, I mean, there was also talk about marrying her, wasn't there? Just cutting up. Okay. You know, I'm not that, you know, I don't... I mean, do you, do, you, do you think you got maybe a little bit carried away? Yeah, I just cutting up, you know, fan, you know just cutting up. Was it fantasy? Just joking around. Okay, I think you stopped yourself when you were about to say fantasy. I mean, ain't nothing wrong with having a fantasy. No, exactly. It's just it's thoughts. Like, you know, like, there's no such thing as thoughts, right? Football. Right. It's like uh, some of these video games, you know. Okay, so basically, Emily was like an escape for you, where you just have this fantasies about yeah, her or whatever. But not okay. serious. I wasn't, you know. Okay, so I mean, like, dude, there was a lot of messages. I mean, Tiffany didn't know about any of this, did right. she? Okay. I mean, dude, like I said, there was a lot of chats about with Emily taking her stuff, yeah, taking her V card, I wasn't, you know, doing a lot of stuff like no, that. I wasn't serious about it. I mean, Kyler, there was like also a lot of messages where there was also a lot of messages where she would maybe say one word, and then from your end, there was like a lot, like a lot of like there would be like days after days after days where there was no response from her. Yeah. And there was a lot of messages on your end. I mean, I think, I, I mean, you know, it's probably the first time you really got carried away like this. Yeah. Okay. I mean, there was definitely times throughout the conversation where, you know, it was basically spammed over and over to her, like, you know, I want to take your V card, I want to do this to you. And, you know, I'm sure if she said stop, would you have stopped? Yes. Okay. So, you, you know, were you kind of, because, you, you know, like. If you said, yeah, like, if some, like some of them said they're not interested, I said, okay, never. So some of them said what? They, some of them have said, "Hey, not that's not you know what I'm looking for." You know, oh, okay. I, I, you know, I, and you know, you tell we, me to stop. I'll right. Leave you alone. Okay, so you know I'm your not limits. Just nagging. Yeah. Okay. Okay. But, well, I appreciate that. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So with Emily, basically, 
it, it carried on from your end because she was like cool with it. Yeah, we're okay. just friends. I mean, yeah. chatting, getting to know each other. Okay. So, I mean, obviously, like, you know, there's a lot of sexual meetings talked about and stuff, we you know, never, between the both of you. Like, I know she didn't give an address. No, and I know never her, give. Right. And I know her Twitter got taken down. But, you know, obviously, you know, you drive, obviously, right? I mean, you work at a used car place. Yeah, I ain't, okay. I ain't like I'm going to go drive to the house, you know, go hunt. Even if somebody, if, even if she did give me the address, it ain't like I'm going to go, you know, stalk right, her right find out. Right, right, right. But... It, what was, it, was it was it more of just yeah, if she's yeah. if she's comfortable with stuff? Yeah, just hang out. Okay. You know, not hang out, but like, hey, no. Okay. To speak. Well, I mean, there there are a lot of messages talking about hanging out. I mean, not serious. You, well, I mean, Kyler, I mean, you know, maybe I, I don't believe even you. If, I don't believe you were gonna marry her, no, but. But even if she like said, hey, I'm at so and so, you wanna come? I probably never would have showed up. Right, but you know, when she said a few days ago, like, hey, I'm ready to meet you. And you're like, when, baby? Yeah, but and, I You know, I mean, even if she said, hey, I'm at so-and-so. Right, but did, didn't, didn't, didn't you ask for her address? I may have, but I wasn't going to ever, you know. Okay. I ain't going to go, you know. Right, because you asked where did I pick you up, didn't you? Yeah, Okay. But I wasn't going to okay. go. I think that's... I mean, you know, her, her Twitter did get taken down, obviously, yeah. but... You know, Kyler, on the other hand, like, I do, I know you're not, you know, we're going to kidnap her or do any of that no. stuff or anything. I just think if she, you know, like, I get the whole saying hi to Walmart, but I think if she just wanted to hang out and maybe I get some ice cream or something. Probably not. Probably not? 9% no. Okay. I said nah. I got things to do. Okay, so, Kyler, you would also, from your end, there would be a lot of spam messages saying, hey, when are we going to chill out? Where are we going to hang? But I wouldn't have never showed up. Okay, but but why was it asked so many times if this was ever going to happen? Because it, I mean, don't hurt to ask. Right, but I've I've never seen a, and like I said, I, I know you weren't going to hurt her in any way. Like I, I think it was probably just going to be hanging out, like just drive around she or something like that. Done that anyway. You know what I'm saying? Okay, but I've I've never seen anybody ask for their address and then when she, and then go ahead and like I I don't understand why almost every message would be when are we going to hang out? When are we going to hang out? Then you ask for her address, and you know I don't think she had a chance to give it to her. Her account got taken down before that. Yeah. Okay. Something like that. Yeah. I don't. Right. Okay. I don't think I don't think all that is asked, and then with no intent on hanging out. I think I think you would have only hung out only had she been. Like I'm sure you would have made sure she was comfortable and everything. Yeah. Okay. I wouldn't have done nothing, you know. Okay. And I might not. It might have been, you know, a walk through. What it, you know, like I said, not much. Okay. So it would have just been like in a public place, maybe. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I mean, you guys are probably around the same height anyway. Not yeah. to. Okay. So, yeah. You would have blended in. But, so, would she, you know, obviously you were asking for her address, you know, she meant she was going to be alone, right? She didn't say nothing about, you know, I didn't know she'd bring friend or whatever, you know. Okay. I mean, did she say she was going to be alone? No. Okay. I mean, was it assumed she was probably, you know, I she's... I figured, but that's why I kind of said, you know. Okay. I got back in my head and said, nah, unless she's going to bring friend, you know, so it wouldn't look awkward. Okay. So you kind of figured she'd probably be alone? Yeah. Okay. That's kind of why I never got... Okay, well, I mean, after you asked for her address, her account got taken down. I mean, you know, Kyler, I'm, I'm sure, like, you know, now, obviously, you know, yeah, like, I'm sure this will never happen again, because you're obviously a good yeah. dude and stuff like that, yeah. but, yeah. you know, I think this was probably, the. I think I think you probably just got really carried away, yeah. and, you know, all that. So, I mean, she gives your address, she's alone, and yeah, did, did you ever mention, like, any of her friends? She mentioned she had a few, but she said she didn't have many. Okay, but did did you mention you ever wanted to hang out with her friends? No, but okay. I, I figured, you know, I said, well, if she's got serious about wanting me, I said, well, bring somebody, you know, so it wouldn't look, but she never. Okay, so, so you wanted to meet her, but only if it wasn't awkward. Yeah. Okay. So, you, if you were to, so, basically, if you were going to go to her house, you wanted her to have someone else there? Okay. So I you wouldn't go to the house anyway, you know what I mean. Okay, but why'd you ask for that address? Just see if it was, you know she's gonna get it to me. I didn't believe. Didn't believe what? That she actually gave me the address. I didn't. Well, she never did. But you know, I wasn't gonna go show up. Okay. So where would you? So you would have only shown up at a park or a public place or maybe the mall or something. You know, even if I felt like it. Okay. Well, you know, obviously there are times like I don't know what's going on with Tiffany. Maybe is it is it, is it like are all kind of fighting about stuff? Not really. Okay. So this is kind of just a, you getting carried away a little bit? Basically. Okay. I mean, you know, when this girl's getting spammed, you know, I want to take your virginity, I want to take your virginity, I want to take your virginity. I mean, that's pretty, like, I mean, you're a used car salesman, right? 
Not really. Well, I mean, you worked at a used car a lot. Yeah. I mean, I know, like, oftentimes you guys say something and don't mean it. I mean, yeah. you're a used car salesman, yeah. but, like, you know, when, but when the same stuff is spammed over and over and over again, you know, I want to take your virginity, I want to take your virginity, I want to take your virginity. I mean, you know, I, I think this was just, it was probably a one-time thing. Yeah. Okay. I mean, th I mean, there were absolutely times, and I'm sure, like, you never said you wanted to or did you? No. Okay, that was never in your never, mind? Never, okay. I never do nothing. Okay. Were you just thinking in your mind at times, like, this will only happen only if she's comfortable with this stuff? Yeah, I mean, I would if she wasn't, you know, serious. I would. Okay. I wouldn't ever, you know. Okay, so, so basically, there were times throughout the conversation where there was an interest in having, her, but only if she consented to it. Maybe, maybe not. Probably, okay. You know. Just a, was it just a possibility? Yeah. Okay. I wasn't gonna be, serious, you know, I probably said, nah, I'm not really, you know. Okay. I mean, what and what you know, because it's a probably so like what. So what would it have to have been for it to happen? Would she have had to probably tell you? Not. Would she have had to tell you she was like okay with this? Would you have made sure she was okay with it, or? I still probably wouldn't, you know. Okay, well, I mean, if there's being sent to her, and it's I want to take her virginity over and over again, where do you live, baby? Are you ready for me? And was there stuff said like, are you ready for my big stuff like that? Not really. Okay, but there was stuff said like, are you ready to put it inside of you, right? Something like that. Okay, I mean, Kyler, I mean, have you been on Tinder before, right? It's been a while. Okay. I mean, you've been on dating apps. Yeah. You, and you talk to people over 18. Yeah. Okay. I mean, you know, that's how the sexy talk goes with a hookup. I mean, uh, like I said, like, uh, you know, if Emily was eight years old, would you have been saying this stuff? Probably not. Okay. I mean, I, I, think, I think it was more of because she was just a girl in the area that was interested in you and vice versa. Okay. Yeah. I mean, so I'm, I'm going to ask again, dude, just be honest. I mean, throughout the conversation, I mean... Was, was there an interest in, you know, doing some of the stuff said in the chat logs only only if she was told you I'm comfortable with this or I'm okay with this? Uh, probably not. I, you know, it's kind of just an online deal. Right. Basically, yeah. Right. I, I understand that. But not real life, you know. Right. No, and I understand, like, you're not going to marry her. I, no, I get that. Not, not, you know, it's just an online deal. Yeah, I get that. But, you know, obviously... It stopped becoming online when there is a meeting talked about, there's an address asked for. If you say, hey, yeah, you would hang out with her in public or with a friend and stuff like that. Like, you know, I, I know throughout the chats, there were times where, you know, she was kind of maybe egging you on saying, yeah, I want this, and you kind of got it carried away. I mean, look, I'm sure now you understand you don't want to do this type of stuff, but I'm sure when when there was asking for her address, I don't know if you were just horny or something like no, that. Or well, I mean, I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't have shown up because... Okay. I've had these people Snapchat and stuff tell me, hey, I'm right here at the hat, at, you know, right across the street from you. Uh -huh. I got a clue who they are. Right, right. But, you know, obviously Emily had a lot of photos of herself, didn't she? Yeah, some, a few, not okay. many. I mean, en en enough, to, enough to chat with her for a few months. Yeah. Okay. Enough to at least assume that she was real. Yeah. Okay. So, like I said, I, I think what this was was just uh, a young lady that was just was interested in you and you were interested in her i think that's what this was pretty much okay so again like i said i'm not here to, i'm not here to judge you for whatever happened i'm just trying to figure out what's going on but you know obviously kyler when there's talks about yeah. you know virginity having sex and whatnot like you know every guy gets turned on when a girl's a virgin you know mm -hmm. like if i had a if i had a 19 year old virgin you know what i mean like i wouldn't yeah. I, I i think it was more of just a cute girl online that met you Basically. okay so again like i understand you weren't going to kidnap i mean where would you even go with her you weren't going to kidnap yeah, her that's not even in your mind or anything like that I, I truly think the plan throughout only had she been okay with this was just consensual sex, making sure she was comfortable maybe, maybe not you know. okay was, was that just more of a possibility possibility what okay no. guaranteed it was just you know okay it was more of i may have sex with her only if she's okay with it i may not yeah Okay, okay. But why is that even a possibility with an 11 year old? I didn't really, I mean, I wasn't really going to. It's just a, you know. A possibility? Yeah, but I wasn't going to. Okay, well, what does a possibility mean? Probably not. 99% 99% positive, I wouldn't. Okay, so there is just a small chance it would have happened? Yeah, probably. Like okay. Two. Why is it even a small chance with an 11 year old? It wasn't really a chance. I just. I mean, now, 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 now that I'm telling you, like, it's with an 11-year-old, now you're kind of going from, yeah, maybe, to now I'm not. I mean, you know, Kyler, like, 
like I know you, I know you've been mostly honest with me. I know you're an honest dude, and pretty honest for someone who works in a used car lot. But why would, but Kyler, why are there messages talking about 24/7 with her? You know, spamming her a lot, saying I love you. Like I understand you weren't head over heels for her. Yeah, I, I, I guess that. Know. Yeah. Yeah. But talking about you know, I want to fit inside you stuff like I mean you remember those messages. Yeah. I want to fit inside you, stuff like that. If asking for her address, saying I want to meet you, because a lot of times, like the meeting, I mean, that was that was ninety percent, I think, on your end, talking about a meeting. Well, I wouldn't ever met her. You know what I mean? Other than like, hey, you know, I said if she was, you know, literally close, it, you know, I said, hey, I'm at Walmart. And you just walk by, I say, hey. No. Right, but was that ever no. said? No. Okay. I it was. It was it only about coming over? Yeah, but I wouldn't ever. You know. Right, Kyler, Kyler, that's what, I mean, now now I'm sure you wouldn't have, we wouldn't do that now, but I'm talking about over the course of the messages, over the course of the messages, I, I think that there was, and you know, obviously it didn't happen, but I, I think there was times where, because I mean, there was a lot of double texting, triple texting, quadruple texting to her, you know that. And, 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 I, and I, that's, what, that's why I think that throughout the course of the messages, and you know, I'm sure at times you, you were like, oh, okay, well, I really shouldn't be doing this. Then other times you're like, oh, I'm getting carried away. Now, is that kind of what happened? Pretty much. Okay. So I'm sure there were times throughout the messages where, where there was like, oh, gosh, I hope she's alone right now and ready because I'm in the mood, but I'll only do something she's okay with it. I mean, throughout the course of the messages, were there some times where there was a hope that consensual would happen between you and her? I mean, if it had, I really wasn't interested. What do you mean? I knew, you know, just it was just a fantasy, basically. Right, but... I wouldn't have really gone through it. Right, but again, there was her address asked for. There was... But I wouldn't... Just because I asked, don't mean I'm going to show it, you know. Right, but Kyler, I mean, every single message was about basically having... Every single one. I mean, again, dude, I know it's, like, hard to talk about, okay, but, I mean, I mean, at, at, at this point, it's just kind of, at this point, it just kind of looks bad, like, this blatant, the blatant, like, misinformation, you know what I mean? I mean, it just, it, like, it just looks pretty, it, like, it, like, it just looks pretty bad, like, I mean, I'd have to get a, I mean, I've seen your Facebook posts, probably have a lot of fact checkers on them anyway. Pretty much. Yeah, I know how those idiots, but, uh, I mean, K Kyler, like, Nobody would have a screenshot of your messages, and there wouldn't be a missing context thing by some libtard fact checker on there. It would pretty, it's pretty obvious what they meant. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, like I said, I'm sure now you have more clarity about, about it, but, you know, like, I, I'm going to ask you, just be honest, because I'm not here to judge you for it, man, truly. Were there times throughout the conversation where, where you know, there was a hope to do, do whatever she, if she was okay with the stuff being said, like, you know, virginity stuff like this like i understand you would have made sure she was comfortable if, i'm sure if she would have pushed you off in person you wouldn't yeah, have pursued it. okay was were some of this stuff going to happen only if she was a hundred percent okay with it probably not because like i said she never really you know she said yes but she never you know i said well you know i'm not gonna get my hopes up because you know i know for a fact it probably would never happen okay but obviously there was a hope that it would, because the messages were very, the messages were very like, very like geared towards that. I mean, what, what was it? What, was it? Was it more of if it happens, then I'm cool with it, but I'm not going to press the issue. Okay, okay. So was it kind of, so with all this stuff, were you just leaving it up to her to initiate and to go through with? Kind of. Okay. So basically, this only would have happened if she said. Look, I'm ready for this. Here's my address. I'm I'm here. I am comfortable with this. You can come over and do this. That's the only time it would have happened. Now, I probably still wouldn't have showed up. Probably not. Probably nine percent, percent positive. I would never. I wouldn't have gone. So it's just a very small chance. Yeah. Okay. Very. So a very small chance that. I'd probably just stay at the house, go okay. do something else, or whatever. Okay. Say like not. So the circumstances would have had to be really right for this stuff to happen between probably you. Not. Two. Probably not at all. Okay. I mean, Kyler, like I said, dude, there's every single message is about taking her virginity. I mean, like, I, I, I get like it's, I, I get like it's very, I get like it's not, it's not flattering to talk about, dude. And, but I mean, you know, everybody, all four of us right here know the truth. All four of us, dude. Every single one of us knows 
And at this point, you know, the messages were already said, the, the fake pictures were sent. Emily was already yeah. ready to give you her address. I mean, does this look like anything but a hookup? I, wasn't, I mean, I wasn't going to hook up anyway. It was just, a, you know, just because I asked for address don't mean not, you know, I ain't going to show up. Just, you know. Well, right, but Kyler, when you ask for the address after saying I want to come over, I mean, Kyler, look, dude. Uh, I get, like, of course, nothing's 100% until it happens, but I think there is a, at least a decent chance that, you know, and uh, like I said, this is only, you know, if she blocked you or said, I don't want this, I'm yeah. sure you wouldn't. So, you know, you're not the stalker done. type. Nah, I, I think I think throughout the conversation, you made sure she was okay with this. Yeah. Okay. So, so, like I said, that's why I think the plan was just, you know, all the acts talked about in the chats, it would have just been 100%. She would have had to initiate it. She would have had to be okay with it and all of that. Is that more accurate? Something like that. Okay. So, so was, was your plan to, so, so was your plan to, you know, do some of the stuff talked about in the chat, such as taking virginity, but only if she's like, hey, I'm ready for this, and only if she's okay with it? Like I said, I probably would have backed out anyway. You probably would have backed out? Yeah, because I've, I've been saying, yeah, I'm gonna go hang out with friends or whatever, you know. I didn't last minute, nah, I ain't going. Yeah, I know it's happened before, but you know, if it's it's from June to basically October, all you're asking is to hang out, to hang out, to hang out, to hang out. It's four, it's literally 120 days of asking to hang out. I mean, y'all talked for over 100 days. I mean, dude, I don't like. Like, I, I, I understand why, because, you know, I know you're obviously a good person, you have a conscience about this type of stuff. Like, you're not a sociopath no. who's just saying, yeah, I like this, I'm doing it, I like little girl, you know, I, I know you're not. I know you actually have a conscience about it and you have a heart, you understand, like, hey, this isn't the most flattering thing. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, look, I, like, I'm not holding it against you that, I'm not holding it against you that what I'm hearing right now is just blatant BS, but it is blatant BS. And like I said, I'm, I'm not judging you for not telling the truth about this because, you know, if, if you just told the, the truth 100% straight away, then, you know, I can see how that would make you kind of look like a sociopath, you know what I mean? Yeah. But, you, you know, Kyle, right now, right now, I'm, I'm just seeing how honest you are because, you know, all the messages speak for themselves. Like, I already know what they said. You know what they said? I already know when there's an address asked for after there's, you know, sexual things talked about. I already know what that means, but... You know, I'm, I'm just seeing, I'm just really seeing how honest, how honest you are, how honest if you're going to confirm it. Like, you know, you're saying probably not, I mean, this wouldn't have happened, but that's bull, dude. You know it's bull. You need, Kyler, you know that is 100%. You know that's 100% BS. But also, on the other hand, you know, we both know that if Emily wasn't comfortable with this, if she said to stop, you wouldn't have done it. All she had, yeah, like I said, I'd, All she had to do is say stop? Yeah, I'd Okay. Quit. Okay. Been done. Okay. So, so basically, so was the plan to go through with this only if she said yes, I want this? Even if she said yes, I still probably, like I said, I had a. That's bull, Kyler. You know that's bull. I wouldn't. You know that's BS, I'm, dude. I'm not serious. I mean, it's just. Kyler, Kyler, chat. Kyler. Did you ask any of the other girls to meet you? you not really. I ain't really. I just cut up with them, you know, say, hey, you want to hang out? Right, but did you ask any of the other girls, that, like the other 13, 14 year olds, if you really want to come see you, if you can go see them? Well, they all were out of state. So. Okay. They said, you know, they said, some of them said, hey, you want to come see me? And they told me where they live, but. Did you ever ask to go see them? No. Okay. They asked me. Okay. Is that, and that's because they were out of state? Yeah. Okay. So the only person in state you actually asked to go meet? Yeah. Okay. So that proves that it, this wasn't the same as all the other ones. I mean, Maybe, I mean, like I said, dude, I, like I know you're not a bad person or a monster. You just obviously got a little bit carried away here. But, you know, this is, if this is the only person you asked to meet, there was obviously a belief that she was next to you. Because yeah. if you didn't believe that she was there, then you wouldn't ask her to go meet. Because if you said that you only asked the, if you didn't ask the other ones to go meet because they were not in state, yet this one was, I mean, Kyler, dude, this is, that, that, that tells me right there that there was an actual plan. Because the chats, you know, I get the floaty messages were kind of similar or whatever, but... You know, if she's the only one in state and you're the only one, and she's the only one that was asked to meet, Kyler, 
I mean, do, do you see you see like what you're saying right now, right? Okay. So, I mean, look, dude. Like I said, I'm not I'm not judging you for because look, obviously the online gets people gets a lot of people carried away. It gets people doing things they otherwise normally wouldn't do. Okay. And I think you're a victim of just social media, but you, you know, and I and I know you weren't gonna victimize Emily because you know you weren't. You weren't going to take her for away from her parents. You weren't going to kidnap her. You weren't going to keep her in a basement or anything like that. I just think the plan was only had she been okay with it, just especially because, yeah, to, to hang out. And especially because you asked, you said this is the only person that you actually asked to go meet. That was That's an obvious belief she was next to you in state. Mm -hmm. And I think because what were, she asked, what are we going to do when we hang out? You said what you were going to do. And she said, what did she say? She said, okay, you can, right? Yeah. Okay. So that's why I think you wanted to do this stuff because she wanted to. And she was just a cute girl online you met or something? Pretty much. Okay. So I don't, I don't, think, you saw, I don't think you saw she was 11 and were like, oh, I love that, you know? I think it was more she just looks cute. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, you know, like I said, I, I, know, I know you're not trying to go looking for little kids to hook right. up with. You know, I wouldn't even call her a little kid. But I know you're not looking for 11 year olds to go hook up with. Right. I just think she was cute to you, and she was in your area, and she was willing, and you were willing, and I think that's all it was. I mean, is that more accurate? Pretty much. Okay. So, now, Kyler, don't bullshit me. Was the plan only had she, because she was willing, or only if, only if she was comfortable with it, you know, to... Hang out, yes. Okay. To hang out at her place? If she wanted to. Okay. And so, there was never a friend mentioned in the chats, were there? If she wanted to bring a friend, you know, okay. just make it... Sure. So you, you would have left that up to her? Yeah. Okay. So if you guys are alone, Kyler, and you know she's an attractive girl to you, she's obviously into you, you talk, this is a girl you talked about marrying, loving. I'm not, like I said, I know you're not going to marry her. That's not practical. I, I get that. But obviously attractive enough to you to say that, you know, talking about taking the V card, all of this stuff. That's why I think, you know, if you're hanging out alone with her, this only would have happened. She would have to initiate it or she would have to be Very okay much. with it. Okay. So basically, when you guys are hanging out, would consent would only have happened if she's okay yes. with it? Okay. So, so when you went over there, you were going to make sure she was okay with it? Yes. Okay. So, yes or no, is the plan consensual then? If that's what she wanted. Okay. Okay, so it would have had to be two, two to tango. Yeah. Okay. Well, I mean, dude, like, but... Like why why the, why in the hell, man? Like did this even happen? I mean, no going back now. I mean, just you know, obviously, I I don't think this will happen again. But why did it happen in the first place? I don't know. Okay. So have you ever had Telegram before? Never heard of it. Okay. Has there been stuff on Twitter that that you've seen that's probably corrupted your mind to make you like this kind of stuff? Everybody posts stuff on Twitter, yeah. Kind of stuff with like younger ladies under eighteen. Yeah. Okay. Have you seen any? And like, like on your Twitter feed, have you seen any like nude photos of younger ladies under 18? No. Okay. Just been bikini stuff? Pretty much. Okay. Has there ever been anybody like on Twitter that, you know, spams you with some type of images like on your DMs? I try to. Yeah. I might, I, I, you know, I, I just hit the block button. Okay. Do they try to spam you of pictures with like younger ladies around Emily's age? Try to. I, like I said, I hit okay. them. Oh, you block them. Okay, were those photos like nude that they would send you? Are they wanting to? Okay. What what like do they send you like links or pictures? Link. Okay. Have they ever sent you photos of that kind of stuff? No. Okay. Have you have you been on like Facebook? Or have you been in Facebook groups with that type of stuff in there? No. Okay. Have you ever seen anything on Twitter where it's like you know because obviously it's on Twitter it's public it's not like you're I, like, I know you don't produce any of this type of stuff. Did. Has anybody sent you stuff where it's like a younger lady like Emily being like exploited or stuff like that? I ain't never seen none of that. Yet. Okay. Got it, got it. Is there anything like in your search history? You sure? Okay. Is there a search history? Just regular? No. Nah. You just see it all on Twitter? Pretty much. Okay. Is there is there any times you've been accused of doing something like this in person before with anybody? There's never, there's ever a time where there was an accusation in person. Not in person. Not in person. They accused you of it from doing it online. Yeah. Okay. What happened with that? 
I called the number and it was just a some guy over in China or India somewhere over there. Yeah. Or it was one of them like call centers where you know you don't they don't speak English. And they accused you of doing something with a kid? Basically and it was nothing. What'd they say? Told me to send them money. Oh, we caught you doing this, send me money? Yeah. Okay. I see. Well, I mean, Kyler, like, what, I mean, how can I make sure this never happens again? It won't happen again. May I see if you have Twitter on your phone right now? It's on my other phone. Okay. It was, or, it was on me, my other, my old tablet. I okay. Had, I had an old tablet. Where's your other phone right now? At the house. Okay, is that where Twitter's on? Yeah. Okay, so it's still on there? No. When'd you delete it? Last night. I had to uh, update it and had to delete some stuff, so I got rid of it. Okay. So, is there anything on that phone you should probably delete? Not really. Okay. Because you know someone's probably going to check it. Is there? Is I mean, are you going to make their job tougher, or is there something? Is there something on there that they're going to find? Where like Kyler, why is it on your phone? No. Okay. What well, did you be messages to other younger ladies under eighteen? Not really. It's nothing really on my old phone. Okay. Is there any devices? Because, I mean, just assume they're probably going to be checked. Is there any devices where there is something that they'll say, Kyler, why is this on your phone? You should probably delete this. Not really. Okay. Has there ever been anything? Has there ever been something where it's like a younger lady, like a younger, like a picture of someone younger than 18? Right. Most of them are older. Most of them are older? How many are younger? None. None that were on your phone? None that I've ever seen, looked at, or viewed. Right, right, but uh, is there any, like, just pictures of, like, younger ladies in bikinis on your phone? Not that I can recall. Okay. Is there any that you deleted? Okay. Well, I mean... Yeah, I mean, I would just, uh, never do this again, bud. Yeah. Okay, just... Can you, uh... I, t I totally forgot. Cause you know, I know, I know you have, I know you have the old Twitters and stuff. What, what is your, what is your, what was your new? I'm gonna follow you on my personal account. You know, cause you're obviously a good dude. But it, do you mind if I follow you on Twitter just so I can make sure you're not like keeping yep. it kosher? Okay. Can you put down your? Uh, here, here, here. Let's uh, just uh, let me let me pull up the notes right here. Um. Golly. I'm so sorry. It's so hot right now. Oh, Jesus. Here, actually just do this. Can, can you, can you, uh... Here, can you, here, like, you know, because I, I do want to, like, make sure that you're not doing on Twitter, yeah. and even if you have it deleted, I still want to follow your account so I can be sure that there's keeping it kosher. Because I, you know, I want to make sure you're on the right track. Like, you know, again, you know, I don't think, you know, I'm not trying to like screw you or anything, but I just, yeah. you know, I think it's at least fair that I fall after this. It's fair that I at least follow yeah. you. Okay, you can put down your Twitter name that you used to text Emily, please. Just type it in there. Uh, shoot, I can't remember it. I think that's it. I think, I can't remember it. Okay. I think. I think that was. So did you, oh, okay, okay, okay. Yes, you got it, buddy. All right, man. I appreciate it, dog. All right, we'll never do this again, buddy. Thank. Okay. All right, be safe. I'm gonna monitor you. As you can see here, we're clearly at the police department. That is the law enforcement presence right there. We're clearly here. Uh, we are turning this guy, and we're clearly in the video here. Okay, this is law enforcement presence. I mean, that looks like it's you, right? Oh yeah. Po. Police. Yeah. And department too. Absolutely. Okay. All right. Well, let's go. Let's go in and talk to them. Are you familiar with that? Like, po no, like posing.
posing as a little kid. Posing as a little kid online and people message you, they think he's a little kid. So we do this across the country and we have a YouTube channel that does it. There's an individual in uh, here at Waycross that was messaging me, believe to be an 11 year old, that he wants to go have with. Okay, where? Uh, so you know that show to catch a To catch a bird. Yeah, like the show where they would pose as little kids and then the, the adults would message you, they think it's little kids, go meet them, and then they get in front of the cameras instead. So we, we do that on YouTube. Well, you know what iCAC does, right? Or, like, you know, just the whole sting operation, posing as a kid online, and, yeah. okay. So that, that, that's what we do on YouTube. And we do this across the country. Like, we have an arrest in uh, 34 states, including here in Georgia. And there's an individual that lives in Waycross. He works at, he was texting who he believed to be an 11-year-old girl. And um, we, you know, approached him on camera to interview him. And he admitted that he wanted to this girl that we were posing as. And we just like to turn over uh, whatever evidence we have to you guys. Okay. And this happened at? As well. well, he was doing all the. We're from Houston, so yeah. we, we were doing Houston, Texas. Houston, Texas. Yeah, we were doing like all the texting in Houston. But he lives here in Waycross, so he was doing the texting there, like soliciting her. And he believed that she lived in Waycross. Okay, so you was talking to him from Texas and come all the way over here to talk to him. Yes, yeah, sir. We we travel around doing this. Yes, sir. And so, like, our account on Twitter got banned. That's what we're texting because we're obviously quote unquote underage. And, you know, he still has his account. And, you know, with a preservation request, uh, Twitter, I'm sure, could recur. Whoever could recover the messages. Like, and, you know, we had we do have him confessing on camera that he did message we believe to be this kid. And, um, you know, basically confirming all the messages were sent. Okay. And, and you call all that on camera? Yes, sir. And we can email that over to you guys. So who who done the talking to? You? Uh, I did. You done all the talking? Yes. Yeah, just the cameraman. Yeah. yeah. Uh, do you have an ID on you? Uh, it's in the car, but I can just throw it in. What's your first name? A L E X. Yeah.